Hey and welcome, I'm your boy Solo. In this video, I'll be going over how to add watch time to your Twitch chat and fix watch time from saying zero. Before I waste any more time, let's jump into it. Now there's a few chatbots that can do this. In this example, I will be using stream elements to add the watch time command to my chat. You could use Streamlabs chatbot as well, but unfortunately not Nightbot. First, to get started, if you don't have stream elements, let's add it now. To do this, all we need to do is go to StreamElements.com and log in with our Twitch. If this is the first time you've ever logged in here with your Twitch, it is going to ask you to authorize your account. After that's done, it's going to load into the dashboard. In here, we just want to go over here to the right side where it says Bot Settings, and we just want to click the Join Channel. This is just so the bot can join your channel. Just give it a click, and it'll say Successfully Joined Your Channel. You may have to refresh this here page to change that, so we're going to do this now. After that, we will want to make sure that we mod the bot in our Twitch chat. So what you'll want to do is jump over to your Twitch chat and type in slash mod stream elements. This is just going to give stream elements the mod permissions. So it can do like things like posting links and things like that. So definitely make sure that you give it the mod permissions in your chat. You can do it by slash modding in chat or you can go over to your creator dashboard. Down in the community tab, you can click role manager and add a new, and then just type in stream elements. As I already have it added, it'll just show up here, but all you'll need to do is type in stream elements. After you type in stream elements, just click enter and it should add stream elements as a moderator. After you type in stream elements, just hit enter. Don't select anything from the drop down menu as these ones here are not the correct ones. You definitely wanna just type in stream elements and that's it and then click enter. Once you're done and made sure that stream elements is mod, we're gonna wanna jump over to the stream elements website and there's a few other things that we're gonna have to do. On the left side menu, we wanna go down to loyalty. In loyalty, there's loyalty settings. In here, we're gonna need to enable the loyalty settings. None of these other things on this here page matter at all. It doesn't matter what they are if you're worried about, just don't worry about it. Just don't even worry about it at all. Just click enable and click save. This is stuff you can come back and fix later on or change later on. And this has to be enabled for watch time to show up. So if you want it to show anything other than a zero, you will have to enable this and click save. If you have problems with watch time showing zero, this is most likely your problem. You might have to come in here, disable it, click save, re-enable it, and then click save again. And that should fix any of the problems with watch time showing zero. Another issue that some people run into is if you've had stream elements for a little bit, you may have disabled some of the commands. So if you type watch time in your chat and nothing happens at all, it just shows watch time with an exclamation point. What you'll need to do is go back into the stream elements, go to the chat bot and go to chat commands. In here, you'll just have to scroll down until you see the moderator commands. It's the third one up and make sure that this is turned on. So that's another thing that you might run into if you've had stream elements already for a while before activating the watch time command. So make sure that it's turned on. Now that it's enabled, next time that you go live, you should be able to check your watch time. Once it's enabled, it's going to take about 10 minutes of somebody watching you live before it's actually going to show anything but a zero. It works in increments of 10. So when you go live, if it does not work right away, that's perfectly fine. You are going to have to wait 10 minutes after you go live with somebody watching you before it's going to show up with the time that they've actually watched. So definitely keep that in mind. This does take a couple of minutes to activate and start working, and it will not show the watch time until the person reaches their first 10 minute mark. So someone has to watch for 10 minutes. If they've only been watching for two minutes, it's gonna show a zero. So unfortunately that's still a thing. It doesn't measure one minute at a time until the first 10 minutes. So keep in mind, make sure that you go live and test it a few times and don't expect it to work in the first two minutes after you've added it. This is going to take, just test it in an hour after you go live. Just check someone's watch time that you know that's in chat to see if it's working. But that's it for this one. Your watch time should now be added and working in chat. Make sure to give it a couple of tests and enjoy. If you think I forgot or left something out, definitely leave it in the comments below. And if you like or found the video helpful, hit the thumbs up and get subscribed for more content. Thanks for watching.